Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the first week of December. Today's Monday, December the 5th. We just had um, a little bit of news come out. Let's push this down into a support floor. And uh, we're going to see a lot of traders shopping around. But in the meantime, what I want to share with you are a little bit of the diagrams for the week. Here is last month. It's the it's the fade in this purple. Here is last week. The close of last week is around that 40680-ish area. Um, it's going to be resistance to be challenged. My suspicion is that we chop sideways as more hedges get unwound that were sort of banking on more downside pressure because great big money, when it comes into a number that is uh, negative, they're going to, or possibly negative, they're going to want to hedge against that because these big houses are primarily long, right? We're normally long our investments. And so what they'll do is hedge. And when the news comes, they'll have to unwind that hedge, whether it's negative or positive from their perspective, they still have to unwind it. On top of that, we had Nomura giving us information that said a lot of houses had to liquidate um, with a push over the 4,011 level in the ES and the SPX. And that certainly happened. And we had a massive, um, we had a massive market on close to the buy side of 13 billion last week, something that we uh, futures traders never, I've never seen that in my entire life. So now, and I've been trading for 20 years. So now what we are looking at is news bringing the markets into support floors that they might see. And I suspect this week to be very choppy. European markets have been very choppy. We want to look at the 50% range of the, oops, of the weekly candlestick formation that covered last week. And uh, why don't I have that? We'll get those into the space. We really are looking at somewhere around 401 to 403 in terms of the support floor. I really like that, but I do believe we're gonna be very whippy by the deeper dips. You gotta be patient right now. We are fleshing out support from this particular formation. Let's go to the queues. We're gonna see the same thing. Uh, this is the close of the month. Look at this. This is a heat map and the heat is saying, hey, we got a lot of contention in this area. If we take a look at Expri, we've got a ton of uh, selling of puts, which is also fairly bullish. And as soon as we start getting the feeds from unusual whales in terms of where market flow is sitting, I'll send those to you in the room. But right now, I do believe that we are going to flesh out support. This is fairly close to last week's close. Is it? Doesn't look like it. Let's do that. Here we go. That's the close of last week. That's the open of last week. That's what we are going to be staring down um, in the formation as a support floor. We're going to be looking at these charts from this perspective. What is the overall flow? Choppy. We want to trade support to resistance resistance to support. Um, and we've got a ton of interesting news that can shift markets to include the end of the month uh, um, Michigan sentiment. Let's take a look at the ES. Most of you know that I am a futures trader primarily. And so this, let's go back to the week and shift our weekly candle formation right here. A lot less compression. Got some uh, fairly good range expansion here. And we are looking at, let's go here. Um, let's look at the properties. We want to unlock that and we want to move it into this week. That's what we're staring down, right? We're looking at this range. For those of us sitting in teams and looking at that sort of stuff, I. 40, 47, they're gonna fight there. Let them fight. If you traded into the level, it's time to take profit. And if you didn't trade into the level and you're looking for a buy zone, this, this red line right here tells us, listen, we can go all the way down here, but as soon as we get above it, we can look for a buy zone here. Right now, it is any man's game as we come into the open. Let's take a look at the NQ. Again, uh, let's go to the weekly. Let's unlock 
Oops, that's the monthly rectangle. That's, we're going to unlock that one, move it out of the way. That's, I don't like that superimposition there. And so this is last week. Same kind of range, frankly. And so let me put this back on the month. It's kind of annoying. Okay, that's your monthly candlestick formation. And that's really what we are staring down. This is why I think we're in a very, very choppy space. Okay? You can sell the peaks. Just wait for it to break down. Watch it rotate over and then realize we're going to come into these noises and then move over and try to jump around there. All right, these are the ledges that I think we'll have for the week, but we will watch them very, very closely. All right, that's it, folks. Good luck trading. I'll see you tomorrow.